Hi there, Halu here. It is 6.30 in the morning. The sun is still not even out yet. I thought at this time it would at least be showing some of its glorious brightness. However, it's still pretty dark. Um, apparently, today is supposed to rain a little bit, which is uh, good for me because I'm going to be at work anyways. Got up at 4.30 a.m., hit the gym, was focusing on uh, back today, and I listened to some of my audiobook during the workout session, but I was more intrigued by watching Channel 5 with Andrew something something Callahan Galligan or so um, just watching his uh, San Francisco streets uh, mini docu small document mini document um, fascinating stuff I personally have always been really into um, crime and drug violence sort of documentaries it's, it's interesting to me I, I don't know what to say but like I, I understand that you know as humans we're just native and primitive to see stuff that we shouldn't be doing for our own survival um, but just seeing the state of uh, the Bay Area and how it is um, kind of makes me glad that I moved out a couple years ago because uh, I would probably be extremely nervous and anxious about my life if I were still to be living in San Francisco. Um, yeah, but either way, check it out. It's pretty interesting uh, if you like that kind of stuff. Headed home now. I'm going to go get ready for work. Uh, should be a pretty chill day, but uh, we'll, see that we're where that, we'll see where that takes us. You know how my mornings go. Brew coffee, add honey, finish water, check gym off my task list, grab Vites, Aquaphor, make coffee, eat a bao, head out, take Vites, start work. The time is now 12.55 and I am headed home for lunch because one, I forgot my lunch and two, I forgot my charger. And my phone is at like 10% and if I don't go home and grab my charger, my whole day is gonna be extremely boring. So we're gonna go take care of that. Um, but the day has been slow. There's a community fair going on at my work. Uh, they invited a bunch of organizations and different vendors uh, to kind of uh, promote different services for the community, I guess. I don't really know, I didn't check it outside, but it's raining. So there's not a lot of people outside and it's kind of dying down, but they do have a taco truck. and. Earlier this morning when I went to check it out, the line was so long. It was gonna take like 45 minutes to get some tacos. And they're just standing there waiting in the rain, but it's free. So I guess free really persuades the mentality of people to, you know, wait in line for stuff. But uh, not me, I'm going home and eating the food that I packed. However, if I return and the taco truck is still there and there's no line, I'm definitely getting me some tacos. So stay posted, let's see if I get some free tacos. I didn't end up getting tacos. Instead, I had this lemon chicken and arugula salad from Trader Joe's. My mom got it from my brother-in-law. And also, what I've forgotten to bring, which was yesterday's spare ribs and boiled vegetables. Because you know, it was sitting in boiling water. It is just a little bit short of 5 p.m. I just got off work. Headed to the chiropractor office to get a decompression. I guess he's going to like put me on a bed and like fold me like that so that my spine isn't so compressed from sitting all the time. So that should be uh, pretty nice and help me feel pretty good. Um, and then afterwards, I do have to go home and cook dinner tonight. I defrosted some shrimp, some beef, uh, what, beef slices, like the kind you use for hot pot, as well as um, some bacon that was sitting in the fridge, uh, freezer. Um, so we'll see what I can create tonight with those ingredients, but I'm um, looking forward to cooking for myself for once. First things first, got home, then marked work off my calendar. Then I started with prep, got a wet towel to put under the cutting board so it won't slide. I began by taking some garlic and peeling each bulb individually. The ingredients I have at home aren't the most fresh, but that's okay. Cut off the ugly parts from each end, then minced them up. 
I then repeated the same process with some shallots. I love stinky vegetables in my food. And I finished up with dicing some green onions, a must for me whenever I cook. I took the beef slices, threw them in a bowl, then started adding random ingredients to season it. Whenever I cook, I don't really measure or follow a recipe unless I'm making a specific dish. So when I'm cooking just for the night, I just add flavors I like. Next up, I minced some broccoli. This was something I made at Sweet Green every day while I worked there. The recipe isn't to the T, but the way it's cooked is pretty much how we did it. Once again, threw everything into a bowl, added random seasonings and sauces, mixed it up. Oh man, it dropped in my shoe! Then laid it out on an oven tray. Throw it in there before the oven even preheats so I can go shower. Actually, now's a pretty good time to do some of the dishes. Okay, we're almost there. Add oil to the pan, add the garlic, add some butter, throw the shrimp on, flip them over, take out the shrimp, stir fry the garlic with green onions, then add it all on top of the shrimp. Okay, last part. Add oil, add shallots, add beef. Oh sh the broccoli! Stir fry the beef. I get super lazy by the end of cooking, so I just add everything into one bowl. Fill it with rice, then add the beef, then add the broccoli. Let's put an egg too, why not? Lastly, drizzle with sriracha. And this was my dinner. Everything was burnt and it tasted horrible, super salty, horrible balances. It doesn't even look good. Man, I am never cooking on camera again. Enjoyed my salty food while watching that new Gone Girl crime documentary on Netflix. Got thirsty halfway through and grabbed some OJ. And now I have food coma. Uh, and that was my January 20th, ladies and gentlemen. I only have one day off this upcoming week, and that's tomorrow. And that's because I'm going to be taking the next Saturday off early. So I'll try to maximize it, do as much as I can, enjoy my free time. But one thing I'm doing for sure is sleeping in tomorrow morning. So have a good night. Hope your guys' January 20th was equally as filling. And holla at you later. I want lay lose light later. Holla at you later. 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 later.